Hi, it's Christian here and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to tie a real easy one. Um, this one. Uh, this is the little blue bait fish thingy. Yeah. And uh, the reason why I'm going to tie this one to show you how is because I got hold of these ones. Some uh, fish foils, candy foils, they're called from Pro Sports Fisher uh, in silver holographic, extra small. And uh, when I got that, those in the mail, that got me thinking and the ideas started brewing. And uh, I went to my man cave and uh, lined up with lots of materials and uh, made that little fly. And it doesn't really consist of many, of many uh, uh, materials. Just some, uh, some super hair. I took some white super hair uh, and some, um, some of this stuff, um, it's called fish scale. It comes in all kinds of colors. This one's uh, light blue with some uh, flesh in it. It's called fish scale sea blue, this one. And I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna use some uh, nylon thread. This is just an ordinary one from Obvious. And the hook I'll be tying on today is uh, another one that I usually do. This is the Eric's uh, SA 280 Minnow size 4. It fits the, the fish foil uh, perfectly. And to top it all off, uh, at the end I'm gonna apply some UV resin to make it all shiny and very very durable. It's a great set of course. So a very very artificial uh, little fly that looks like a Small bait fish could go in the tropics, I guess. Uh, really nice, very fast, and I will show you how. Follow along, let's go. Okay, here we go. So, this is the one we're aiming for the little blue bait fish. And uh, for the hook, I chose uh, the light stinger uh, SAA. 280 minnow in size 4 and I just put it on some some Vivas uh, monofill uh, thread and I'm gonna start with a little layer of uh, white uh, super hair this is from, from Flyco which I'm a big fan of of uh, super hair I've said it before I'm saying I'm gonna say it again and I'm gonna measure a a little bunch of this stuff and uh, I'm not gonna take uh, too much of it because I don't want my fly to get too long. Then they're just gonna go and nipple in the, the tail. And I also like to try to taper it a bit near towards the end, so it kinda, it's not just a cut. And then I'm very satisfied with the length as I am now. I'm just gonna secure this on top of the of the hook shank. Just nice and slow. Tying. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space up here to good tip to get this all off in one go is to just twist it a bit and you got it flipped. There we go. Then you get a nice even uh, cut. I'm gonna go backwards again. This doesn't matter how much uh, you put on a knife and fit because uh, I'm gonna cover it all, all up. But uh, I'm gonna cover it all up with the fish foil. Then it's time for the fish scale, the sea blue fish scale. That's a nice name. And I'm gonna put a bunch on top and I'm gonna make sure they're just a little bit longer than the white, white stuff underneath. And just smack on top. I 
I find it very relaxing to make these for some reason. <laughs> not fishing with them much though, but uh, I'm not fishing much at, all, much at all, so there's too much stuff going on in real life, so. You get the idea. Let's twist that as well. And I can see I would like to add a bit, a bit more. There's a few, there's a, this blue um, material has a bit of, a few straws of, um, Glass in it, which looks really nice. Really, not want to overdo it uh, with the material, keeping it keeping it small. I hope you can uh, see I got a better quality camera now. The reason why I haven't made tutorials lately is because uh, my old phone was just filled with. There's not enough, not enough room to make these movies, so I bought a new one. This one is an iPhone 14 Pro with a lot of room on it, so I hope uh, you will notice, notice uh, an improvement in the at least in the quality of the of the footage, maybe not with flies, but uh, yeah. Uh, but feel free to leave a comment if you notice any difference. Well, now it's time for the fish uh, fish candy. What was this? Candy foils in silver holographic. Um, they lined up uh, two and two, so we're gonna take two of these little buggers and uh, just tie them in. Uh, tie them in uh, here at the nose, the very tip. Um, it's gonna be hard to see, but I'll. So just a few wraps because maybe it's better to just push down on it and then on the other side I'm just gonna flip the fly. Same on here, making sure it's straight. There we go. And now I'm just going to take my whip finish. Tying done. Then uh, I'm gonna take some some uh, resins, different sorts. This is the red tap thin one. I'm uh, gonna apply a bit of that just to soak in the material, and I've got it. So uh, just a little layer. Here, up here, and that soaks in. And while it does that, and it spreads out a bit, I'm just gonna pull a bit in my material. I'm trying to squeeze it around a little bit. And while squeezing it, I'm gonna zap it. the resin like that 
kan sige. Der er sådan, går man i sig her lidt. Han er gået til at tage en slightly um, thicker resin. En sæk. This is a medium size one. Well, medium, not medium size, but medium. Yes, I guess it's a, it's a viscosity of the resin. I'm gonna jam that in between the very slowly and carefully in between the the foils. And just tip on it and uh, getting it into the material. Nice, nice. Step that as well. Turn it over. Do the same underneath. This time I'm gonna go a bit, a bit um, further back. Be careful, not too much, because uh, I don't want my tail to get all stiffened with the with the UV resin. But it'll just help you get a bit more shape and uh, strengthen the fish fall in the back. Yeah, but, but be careful not to overdo it with the, the resin here. I'm gonna add a little bit more down here. And just... And there's a new feature I'm gonna something I didn't do on the one I showed you before. I'm just gonna add a bit of red down here. Some uh, some red um, fluorescent red, red tap just to um, yeah a bit of gills maybe. Uh, down here. Maybe that could look nice. Then I'm just gonna, as the very at the very end here, add a bit of um, a thin, thin one, a thin uh, red tap, as a uh, layer all around the fly on the foil where we haven't added the uh, resin yet. And I'm just going to, going to do it in one go. Trying to move my fly a little bit because this uh, this uh, thin one is really yeah as it's called thin. It's thin it tends to run out if I'm not if I'm not moving. I don't want the 
this one together anywhere other than where I put it. So, then it's a good trick to, when you're all, it's all covered to just spin it, keep spinning it, and then the, the vessel will even out all the places you haven't added a vessel and uh, keep spinning. And while spinning, I'm just gonna sub it for the last time. You see, I'm missing a bit, a little bit down here. There we go. It's amazing how much the the last set of the last layer of uh, resin you're putting on here uh, really makes the colors of the fall uh, pop out. Well, there you have a little blue a bait fish, very, very durable and with very, very few <laughs> materials, uh, all artificial and it will last you a long time, I, I think. Give it a go and stay tuned for more on my little fly tying channel and hope you subscribe and even like for more content. I will see you next time. Bye bye.